And ladies and gentlemen, before we start that episode of Card Sharks, I would like to remind you that and I apologize in advance because I couldn't find the footage of episode 10 and 11 because somebody might have thrown my stuff away. But, unfortunately, the show must go on, go on and start off with episode number 12. So, as a reminder, I do apologize and let's get on to the action. You can win up to $32,000 of a single turn of a card on Card Chart. And now, here is the star of Card Sharks, Brandon Martin. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Brandon Martin here. And this is right now Card Sharks episode number 12. And we have two opponents today. For, first start off, we'll have we, our returning champion, AJ, with three wins and $22,650. AJ, welcome back. Thanks, Brandon. Yep. Hope I hope you can keep that run going. Let's hope so. All right. And for your and for AJ's opponent today, and we have the returning Justin Rea. Justin, welcome back. Good to be back. Let's see if you get your let's see if you get your revenge on some card sharks though, Justin Ray. I would love. Alright. You know you already know how to play the game and all that guys? Yep. Alright. We already know, the people already know how to do the card chart, so, in previous episodes, so, let's go ahead and get started with the best two out of three, and the first question is going to go to the champion, AJ. AJ, we, uh, we surveyed one of the third graders, and we asked them, how many knew that Dumbo was an elephant? Elephant. How many third graders say that they knew knew that Dum Dumbo was an elephant? Sixty four. Alright, sixty four out of the hundred say that the third graders knew about knew that Dumbo was an elephant. Justin, higher or lower than the sixty four? Well, I'm gonna have to say that is a little bit lower. Because nowadays with Disney movies, it's all Frozen, Tangled, and Ferdinand, and all sorts of other crap. Dumbo is no longer in kids' minds, so I'm going to say it's a little bit lower. All right. And Justin, if you get the question right, you will play your cards. If not, it will go to AJ. Well, the actual number of third graders that they knew that Dumbo was an elephant is... It's actually 84 is not lower, was higher. The hay. Yeah. You said it was how much now? 84. Hang on. 8, 4. One more time. 84. Hang on. I'll just type it right there. Yeah. There we go. 84. Whoa! Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you said how much, uh, AJ? 64. Well, you didn't miss that by much. By 20. All Not right. bad, sir. All right. Well, AJ, you can change the card to keep the card if you want. Your base card to start off is a jack. Lower. Lower than a jack, a four. Higher. Higher than the four, a nine. Freeze. And we'll freeze it right there. He only needs two cards to 
win this first game. And this next question is going to go to Justin. Alright. Justin, we, we surveyed 100 people and we asked them, if a mother discovers her 16-year-old taking birth control pills, should she take them away? How many people say yes, they should take them away? Mm. I'm going to say around 45. All right, 45 out of 100 say yes, they should take them away. AJ, higher or lower than the 45? Um, what was the question again? I will repeat it. Here we go. We surveyed one of the people, and we asked them, if a mother discovers her 16-year-old taking birth control pills, should she take them away? How many people say yes, they should she took take them away? I'll say higher. A little bit higher. All right. Well, the actual number of people that they should take them away is actually 16 is not higher was lower. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Most parents want their kids on birth control anymore, so. Well, well, Justin Ray, you can change the card to keep the card if you want. Your base card to start off is a king. Lower. Lower than a king. Oh, no, it's an ace, unfortunately. Here we go again. And I know you don't like hearing this, but I'm going to have to. Yep, unfortunately. So, AJ, you have a free shot at that nine. Lower. Lower than a nine, a seven. Higher. For the first game of match. First game in the match, higher than a seven. You got it, AJ. Guess he moves. Mm-hmm. Yep. AJ, you won the first game of the hundred dollars, and Justin needs to get the sustained game in the second game. So, can he do that? We'll find out right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Card Sharks. And we have AJ winning the first game in $100. And then we need Justin Ray to win this next one to stay in the game. So, to start off this next question, is going to go to the champion AJ. AJ, we surveyed 100 doctors and we asked them, Have you ever worked at a hospital you'd be afraid of going to as a patient. How many doctors say yes, they're going to be afraid of going to be to be as a patient? 34. Right, 34 out of the 100 say they would be afraid of going to be as a, as a patient. So Justin Ray, higher or lower than 34? Okay. Do me a favor, you'll have to repeat the question. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. Alright. We surveyed one of the doctors and we asked them, Have you ever worked at a hospital you be if you'd be afraid of going to be as a patient? How many doctors say yes they're gonna be afraid of going to be as a patient? And AJ say thirty four. I'd have to say it's a little bit higher than that because, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're a doctor already in your own hospital and you go somewhere else, God knows what they do to you. So, yeah, I'm going to say a little bit higher. All right, a little bit higher. All right. Well, 
the actual number of doctors that they're going to be afraid of going to be as in the patient as a patient is 32 it is not higher it was a little bit lower actually not that much yeah all right AJ you could you could change the card and keep the card if you want your base card to start off is a king lower lower than a king oh no it's an ace yikes they shot through <laughs> And that's Reddit Buzzer, unfortunately. So, Justin, you cannot change a card. You did not win a question. You must play off this one. Of a 10. Let's go lower. Alright, lower than a 10. Oh no, it's a jack. That's the damn risky run over a 10. Can be anything <laughs> up above it. Oh, man. Here we go. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, this next question is going to go to Justin. All right. Justin, we surveyed one of married Japanese women from a small city in Japan. And we asked them, if your if your if your husband were unfaithful, would you want? Oh, hang on. Let's do a new question. Actually. Okay. All right. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. A new question. We we Justin. We surveyed one one hundred men over eighty years old, and we asked them, if you're a young man, would you drink, smoke, and chase women? How many men over 80 years old say yes they would it would be would you they would drink smoke and chase women mm. 35 All right 35 out of 100 that men over 80 years old they would drink smoke and chase women AJ higher or lower than 35 uh, I'll say a tiny bit higher. Tiny bit higher. All right. Well, the actual number men over 80 years old they would drink, smoke, and chase women is 58. You are right, AJ. It is higher. Over half of them. Over 80 years old. Wow. Must be some horny old men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AJ, you have the king right now. You can change the card if you want. Lower. All right, lower than the king, a deuce. Higher. Higher than the deuce, an ace. Lower. Lower than the ace, a five. Higher. For the to retain the championship, higher than the five. Oh no, it's a three. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's bound to happen. <coughs> yep. Well, man, take away all four cards. And Justin, you have a free shot at the ten. I'm going lower again on it. Lower than the ten of four. Finally, higher. <laughs> higher than the four, queen. Lower. Lower than the queen of seven. Freeze on that ugly seven. <laughs> well, freeze it right there. Just only need one card to tie up this match. About time. A little struggle luck. Yep. All right. This third question, okay. Okay, this this next question is going to go to the champion again, to AJ. 
AJ, we surveyed 100 single men, women, actually, and we asked them, have you ever looked at a blind date and thought he's got a face only a mother could love? How many single women say yes? They looked at a blind date and thought he's got a face only a mother could love. 40. Okay, 40 out of the 100 say... Alright. 40 out of the 100 say that they looked at a blind date and thought he's got a face only a mother could love. So, Justin, higher or lower than 40? I don't quite think any mother out there could not love their own kids, so I'm going to say it's just a little bit higher. A little bit higher, alright. Well, the actual number of single women, they, oh, hey, yeah, single women that they looked at a blind date and thought he's got a face only a mother could love is 51, you're right, Justin, it is a little higher. All right. So, Justin, you have a seven right now. You can change the card if you want. Please change that card. <laughs> All right. When you win the question, change that card. You have the right to change it. Seven now becomes, uh, well, a little better. It's a six. Mm. I'm gonna go higher. Alright, to tie up the match. Higher than a six! Oh no, it's another six! Push. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry about that, folks. Mercy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm right. Apologize for that. Stand by. Okay, we'll do it. I'll just. All right. Unfortunately, there's the buzzer right there. So, AJ, you you have that king. I didn't burn that bad. I thought maybe you found a new buzzer. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, AJ, you have a king right now. Lower. All right, lower than the king, a nine. Freeze. We will freeze it right there. He only needs three cards to win the championship. And Justin only needs one card to tie up the match. Here we go, guys. Sudden death rules. Someone must win this this one with the control of the cards. And it's going to go to Justin Ray. All right. Justin, we surveyed 113-year-old boys, and we asked them, have you ever gotten dizzy trying to smoke one of your dad's cigars? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, how, how many 13-year-old boys say yes, they have gotten dizzy trying to smoke one of your dad's cigars? Well, I personally never was the sneaky type and all that. Plus, my dad had already quit from being a smoker from years ago. So, I don't know. <laughs> Anymore, kids are all about live and let live. You gotta try something at least once. So, I'd say that's kind of a high number. Um, probably around 67. 67 out of the 100 say that they have got dizzy trying to smoke one of your dad's cigars. So, AJ, higher or lower than the 67? A little lower. A little lower. All right. For the control of the cards, the actual number of 13-year-old boys they've gotten dizzy trying to smoke one of your dad's cigars is... It's actually five. You are right. It is a lot lower. Just five out of a hundred? <laughs> yep. Holy crap. Mm hmm. Not a whole lot of people. I know I certainly would have. I guess kids are more resilient than I was at 13. Alright. Okay. AJ, here's the situation 
You have a nine right now. You could change the card, or or you, if you play it. Justin Ray only has a six. He only needs one card to tie up the match. So AJ, what are you going to do? Pass it, Justin Ray. All right, Justin, you you have to call off that six. If you make one mistake, AJ is going to retain the championship. Let's see if it's higher. Alright, to tie up the match. Higher than a six. Oh no, it's a three. So wow. AJ retains the title. Good job. Thanks. Oh, well, AJ, we're going to go talk to you in just a moment. And Justin Ray, those cars wasn't in your favor, though. But. Not this time. Not this time. But we're going to have some nice party gifts for you. And thanks for playing Cart Sharks. And we'll have you in a future episode. Look forward to it, Brandon. Thanks. Good luck, AJ. Win that 32 grand, dude. All right. All right. AJ, get on over here, buddy. Good old champ. Hey. All righty. Can he get the $32,000 this time? We are going to have to find out. When we take our last commercial time out, so don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome back to Card Sharks, and we have AJ as our still our champion, though. Gotten another win in his record. Already up to four wins. Add another two hundred dollars to his total up to twenty two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. And that is, that's pretty good, actually. Almost getting to $23,000. So, do you know how to play the card sharks and all that, AJ? Yep. Alright, for the folks at home, I'll give them a rundown for this. Alright, who don't know? We start with the bottom level. We get $200 and add in four cards with the minimum bets of $50. And when you get up to the next level, you have $400 to that, three more cards, and the minimum bets of $50. Until you get to that top card, to that big bet, you must risk at least half the money. And there's three cards to provide you in which you can change one card per line. If you get double-double all the way to the top, a potential $32,000. Alright. Alrighty. So... Give AJ $200. Alright. AJ, to start things off at the bottom level, your base card to start off is an 8. 7 plus 1. Change of a number 3. Alright. Change one card per line. 8 now becomes a king. All of it lower. All right, all of it lower than the king. Yes, with the six, you're up to four hundred dollars. One hundred higher. All right, add that up. A hundred dollars. Hundred dollars higher. You said. Yes. Okay. Hundred dollars higher than the six. Yes, with the ten, you're up to five hundred dollars. Uh, $200 lower. Alright. $200. Lower than a 10. Yes, with an 8, you're up to $700. Alright. When you... We're going to move up to the second level up. You add another $400 to that. You're up to $1,100. Change it with number 1. Alright, I will do that. Change up a number one, you said? Yes. Okay, just checking. Alright, the eight now becomes a king! All of it lower. $1,100 lower than a king! Yes, with an eight, you're up to $2,200. An eight? Got you the ding. Yes. Um, one hundred dollars lower. 
Uh, cutting it back a little bit. Okay. Hundred dollars. Lower than that eight. Yes, with a four, you're up to twenty three hundred dollars. I will do two thousand higher. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, big card on a good on a on a good four. All right, a big bet on that. Two thousand dollars. Higher than the four! Yes, with the queen, you're up to $4,300. And there's the ding. Here we go. And here you go, AJ, when you move up to the big bet. And there you are. And you must risk at least... Gotta do the, the, some division. So here we go. You you must bet at least twenty one fifty, and you got a good. I will, go ahead. Uh, queen. Yes. I will do. Um. Three thousand lower. <sighs> All right. Here we go. For three thousand dollars, if it's gonna be thirteen hundred dollars or seven thousand three hundred dollars, Lord and the Queen, you got it, AJ. Yep, and you got it. And when you add on to that twenty-two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. For the previous total, with the two hundred dollars, twenty-two thousand six fifty, add the two hundred dollars from the, from the winning of the two games, and the seven three hundred, you're now in four games. You're up to thirty thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna have you. Face another opponent when we play again. Alright. Alright, here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did And if you like Card Sharks episode 11, uh, actually 12, please go in and give this a thumbs up and please like this video. Leave a comment if you're brand new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe. And also, do not forget to tap that notification bell under my name, Brandon Martin, on your YouTube app so you'll never miss an upload or a live stream. And I am your host, Brandon Martin, thank saying thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time for episode number 13 of Card Sharks. So, see you later, folks. Card Sharks! It's a Brandon Martin production and association with the YouTube and Games and the Games Entertainment Television Production.